Hi, I'm Christian from MakeUseOf.com and I'm going to show you how to get Dreamcast emulation working on the Raspberry Pi 3. To get started, you'll need a suitable Raspberry Pi, an 8GB microSD card and a reliable power supply. You'll also need a keyboard, a suitable game controller, as yet there is no USB Dreamcast gamepad so you'll have to use something else, Ethernet cable if you're not using Wi-Fi and a HDMI display cable. If you don't already have RetroPie running, you can get it from retropie.org.uk. Download, unzip, then use Etcher from etcher.io to write the image file to your micro SD card. With the card safely ejected from your computer, insert it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. If the game controller is connected, follow the instructions to configure it. If not, use the keyboard to navigate RetroPie. Find your way to the RetroPie configuration screen and select RetroPie Setup. Here, go to P, Manage Packages, then Manage Optional Packages, and scroll down to Rycast, usually numbered 137. Select OK, then B, Install from Source. It's important that you choose this option rather than the alternative, Install from Binary. Once installed, click back repeatedly, then Exit, to return to the main RetroPie menu. Rycast is now installed, but you'll need some games to play. You'll also need the BIOS ROM files. Now for this, Google the files you need. Copyright law prevents us from sharing these links with you. Similarly, we can't link you to resources offering Dreamcast games in CDI or GDI format, but you should be able to find them. Just make sure you're using games you originally owned, as otherwise you too will be breaching copyright. Several options are available for copying these files to your RetroPie box. The best is to open the browser on your computer and enter backslash backslash RetroPie. Here, open the BIOS directory and copy the dc underscore boot dot bin and dc underscore flash dot bin BIOS files across. Follow this by copying the game files to the ROMs slash Dreamcast directory. With this done, press the assigned menu button on your controller or via the keyboard and select quit, then restart system. Click yes to confirm and wait while the Raspberry Pi reboots. The next stage is to configure RyeCast which you can do by browsing to the Dreamcast menu and selecting Start Rycast. There is confusion online about what you should do here, but you're safe to ignore the date and time and move straight to Select, then to File and wipe the VMUs. These virtual memory files need to be wiped in order for you to save your game process. First select A1, then use the controller to select All and Delete All, then Confirm. When this is done, select an avatar, then repeat for A2. After exiting the emulator, you should find your ROMs listed as playable options. Simply select the one you want to play and enjoy. Now, if your Dreamcast ROMs don't load, there's a chance they're not suitable for running on Rycast yet. Alternatively, you might be using the wrong version. Despite these games being 20 years old, it seems display settings on the Raspberry Pi or within the emulator affects which ROMs work. In the 1980s and 90s, games were available in two video formats, PAL for the UK and Europe, and NTSC for the USA and elsewhere. I'm based in the UK, and if I try to run an NTSC ROM, it fails. The PAL version of the same game will work, however. Know that ROMs are invariably labelled with the correct territory to help you with this. And that's it! Enjoy revisiting the Dreamcast game library on your Raspberry Pi! My name is Christian Corley, and hopefully Dreamcast emulation on the Raspberry Pi worked as well for you as it did for me. You can find the full tutorial at makeuseof.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly tech tips and reviews.